What's up guys, it's Denodon here, and today I am back in Kerbal Space Program 1.0 where I'm showing off a design I built in the, you know, sandbox mode just to test new aerodynamics which is this, it is a biplane. Now, it's based on the pushes of World War One, except of course it's jet engine because, well, we don't have propellers. Clearly the Kerbals didn't need to develop, you know, propeller nonsense, they just went straight for jets. But yeah, you can see takes off pretty much straight away, it like needs no run up whatsoever. I suppose it's because of all the lifting surfaces. Now also you can see, oh, if I can manage control of it, I'm not using, you know, SAS because, well, Bill can't use it. I don't know why Bill's flying it, but he decided clearly he wanted to have a go. But yeah, this thing is quite stable, look, I've throttled back to a quarter already, or about a third, whatever that is, I think it's about a quarter. But yeah, you can see that, you know, it flies really nicely and if I right click on the engine you can see I've got it limited to basically half so that this thing doesn't try and destroy itself if you go full throttle although it doesn't go too fast anyway I think at below 200 meters the max it'll go is around 96 meters a second or so so that's fast for a biplane I suppose but it's not too fast to be uncontrollable now, the reason I've got this whole, like, sort of structural system here holding up the tail is because I found that if you have anything in the path of the thrust from the engine, it basically blocks it entirely so you produce no thrust. So I had to push everything above the engine as much as I could, which resulted in, you know, it looking a little strange, but what can you do? Let's try and get around here. I say, oh, we're going a bit fast, let's throttle back even more. And you see, the one advantage of building a biplane, I suppose, is it allows you to go so slow that any crashes you do are almost always survivable and don't destroy any parts. So I suppose that's something, really. It also means you can land almost anywhere. So, oh, we're gonna land here. Oops. Yeah, we kind of crashed that. Let's try this again. So here we are, flying from the cockpit view now. And you can see it's got decent enough view I suppose for a biplane, just wait till we get in the air, there we go. Now you can actually fly this pretty well from here because well, you've got the nav ball quite clearly visible, I tend to rotate just enough down on the camera to see the vertical speed. And you've got, you know, the speed indicators, but the difficulties you don't see a throttle unless you look down here, so I'm going to throttle that back to there. And I've got to love these new interiors by the way, they're nice. I'm not sure why this would have like a HUD, it's a biplane, unless it's like, you know, really advanced for a biplane. But, who knows, you see, without SAS it wobbles a little, but I don't mind. I do much prefer these aerodynamics over the old ones, even if they take a bit of getting used to. Let's try and find something to fly around, eh? Let's turn ourselves around and try not to lose all our speed. Well, there's a tunnel there, can we, do we think we can go for that? I mean, I know I can fly through these, I've done it before, but whether I can do them on video is another matter. So we've got this one here, we're coming in for a completely wrong approach, but we can do this. Dip ourselves down, pull up, ooh, ooh, I think we our wheels touch the ground. Throttle up, but I think we've stalled, yep, we stalled. And we hit something, so you can look around, you can see the girders here. And yeah, so if we get out, you can see we are... Uh, yeah, we hit some guy's building, and we're blocking that door. That'd be quite a thing, come out the building and see, oh my god, you see, ah, see that thing. Yeah, ignore what the camera just did there. Unfortunately, with the way this wing's placed, you can't actually get out, so, I don't know, obviously they build these planes with the Kerbal inside, and then you're trapped forever with no escape. But, oh well. I guess I'll do some more videos, like I'll do a proper video at some point, but until then, I'm Denadon, this is Kerbal Space Program, safe landings.